All right, you guys. You guys are here live on the Dixieville Paint Facebook and Instagram page with Brush by Brandy. My name is Brandy. I'm the owner and artisan behind Brush by Brandy. Um, and I'm a Dixieville Paint Brand Ambassador, and I paint here, here, live with you guys every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. So, you guys, um, set a personal alarm on your on your phones or something. If you've got favorites um, on the Dixieville team and you want to catch them at their time slots, set a personal alarm. Facebook's been doing um, updates recently, and people are not getting their notifications. And so I find it's just easier. If you've got favorites, set a personal alarm for their time slot. Um, you could message that person and ask what their live time slot is, and they'll tell you. Um, but mine is 9 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time every Thursday. Nine-ish. Nine-ish. Ish. It's 9.05. We're good. And... Um, this week, uh, you guys, my husband here is here. If you guys have any questions, pop on and let us know as we go. But we are going to be blending over chair spindles. And I get a lot of questions about blending on chair spindles, but I don't do a lot of chairs, so I haven't had opportunity to really show you guys. Um, but I actually have a little chair that I'm gonna work on tonight. So um, this chair, if you guys watch my page, I did a piece recently using the new Dixie Bell transfer, the cacti and succulents transfer. Let me show it to you guys. Okay, so I used the new Cacti and Succulents transfer. This is the tube here. That's the design. And then these are the sheets. So these were my succulents on here. This is just one of the sheets. But you can kind of see the colors that are in this piece. So let's pull out the colors that I used and I'll show them to you next to this transfer. So one of them was mint julep and you can definitely see the greens in the succulents. Sorry, this wants to curl on me guys. Um, so mint julep we're going to use tonight. Um, antebellum blue was really pretty and it's even prettier when it blends into mint julep. So when you're blending colors you want to consider what, what they're going to turn into when you combine them. So I'm going to end up with a combination somewhere in between antebellum and mint julep. Um, that particularly matters when you're blending colors like reds. If you blend red into white, what do you get when you mix red and white? You get pink. Yeah, Sean's color theory is a little off, a little off. Um, you get pink, so if you don't want pink in your piece, blending red into white is going to be a, you know, same thing um, with black. If you blend black into white, you're going to end up with a gray. You lo you start losing your black. So you got to consider what color you're going to create in the middle too, yellow and green. Or I'm sorry, yellow and blue, you're going to make a green in the middle. Um, and then Midnight Sky, I'm gonna use just for a little bit of shading. And I use these on that same piece, so now we're gonna make this chair match. Um, I've taken the seat off of this, and I'm gonna recover that. I need to find a cute fabric. I wanna find like a succulent fabric, but I'll have to go to the fabric store and see what they've got. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I know our local fabric stores are a little skinny now. There's not that many fabric stores, and then what there is doesn't carry a whole lot of stock, so. I hate ordering fabric online too because I feel like it's something you need to see. Like I need to see my fabric in person. All right, I'm gonna open my paints and let's get started on this. And I'm hoping we're gonna get through two coats. This should go pretty quickly. But I'm going to tip this chair. If I tip it down like this, can you see? It's just kind of awkward to work on. Yeah, we're just gonna cut you out of the picture. Oh, aren't I usually? I mean, does any does anybody come to see me really? Really? Yeah. It's not like I'm making any fashion trends or anything, that's for sure. Um, this will just be easier to work on, I think, if I'm working on it down like this. So I'm gonna start off just like my vanity that I'm trying to match, and my bottom um, is going to be my darkest color, which is my midnight sky. I'm gonna lay this on with my Dixie Bell Mini. And what I do is I'm going to work my way around the four sides of this chair. I cannot see this front very well. So I have this hydraulic lift table and it's great, except it doesn't except turn. Except when you do that. Except it doesn't turn very well. And so I wanted to be kind of where you guys could see down if I'm working down at the bottom of this chair, but I, don't I got know. it, don't worry, I got, I got, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were busy back there. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of Brush this up. Now I, I'm gonna go a little bit higher than I actually want my midnight sky to go, and that's because I wanna have space 
that it can run into my antebellum blue. So I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. Maybe this, maybe I should just sit on the floor. You wanna do that? Maybe I should just abandon this table, it's not working. It's not working. Does that make I'll sense? get that water again, don't don't worry about that. <laughs> no, this is not working. I got you. That makes it hard if you have to go, you have to move the cameras down. That's all right, that's right. All right. I'm we'll just take care of business, I'll, this. I'll work around you. As long as we have a level of understanding yeah, out there in the uh, hour to hold the in chair the gallery and try to paint it. <laughs> Let's face it, I'm down here all the time, anyways. Um, I like the lift table, but it doesn't have it only has two caster wheels, so it it doesn't spin very well. Like they needed to splurge and give me an extra two caster wheels on it. All right, I'm gonna go all the way around the chair, and I'm gonna get. Sorry, guys, gonna get a little shaky. Yeah, sorry, we're going to move the camera down lower. I thought I'd be working up higher tonight. What? Brandy Garcia's eating Reese's right now. Oh, those are my favorite. Oh. Anything with peanut butter in it. Brandy. Oh. Come on now. Come on, these small Yeah, stuff. if you're not going to bring enough for all. It's okay if you have to ship it. Just do it ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. Be considerate. So I'm just going to go around every, all, so I'm doing the legs right now. Now I'm calling these spindles because the process would be the same whether this was a round, this is in, in my case it's kind of a rectangle, but the process is going to be the same. I'm going to go around all the sides. Even Cindy agrees, Reese's are the best. Yes, anything with peanut butter in it. Um, ooh, those Girl Scout cookies, the fudge oh, peanut gosh. butter ones, too. Girl Scouts. Are I don't drug worry. Dealers. I don't worry about all them them being exactly the same either. When I'm going up these chair legs like this, I'm not worried about them all being the same. If one goes up slightly higher than the other, that's about it. Oh, I got my noggin on. Got to throw out a disclaimer and apology for that one. Um, I also don't think, I think it would be personal preference if, you were, if you'd if you rather work just one leg at a time. What I'm color a, are you throwing on there? This is Midnight Sky. There Midnight Sky is my darkest color of my three color combination, which is going to be, my three colors we're using tonight are Midnight Sky, Antebellum Blue, and Mint Julep. So I'm just kind of, I'm using this vertical brush stroke and going right up my chair leg to, I don't know, what's that, like the three-quarter mark? Let me measure it. Yep, it's three-quarters. And that's probably a little bit higher than I actually am going to leave the, the midnight sky showing. But I want to have um, some excess space that I can blend that paint out. So I put a little bit more on it than I actually want. Okay, so I've covered, I've co gone around each of my chair legs with my same color, and now I'm going to come back with my next color, which is going to be antebellum blue. <laughs> I remember days when I could sit like that. <laughs> yeah. My back is killing me, you guys. It's been a rough day. I want to lean this back against my piece, too, but I don't what? Wanna... I know, I know. I'm probably going to regret Whoa. it. Did you hear about some torna uh, tornado in Alabama? So far, uh, it's killed five people. That's so crazy. So I was listening to, like, I was, like to listen to talk radio. I know, it's super exciting. My kids love it. <laughs> <laughs> and, so what uh, were you doing? And yeah. I heard about that, and I guess, uh, I mean, I don't know, I don't know where tornadoes are considered normal, but I guess in Alabama they're not, right? Um. Okay, so I just put my antebellum blue on, on two sides, and now I'm just going to brush my Midnight Sky right up into that antebellum. And then I'm going to take my good old neutral brush, and I'm just going to feather out where they meet up. I actually think that blending on, like, spindly surfaces like this, I would just work my way around, but I actually think they're, they're a little bit easier. Because you... Um, you can kind of camouflage if they don't match all the way around. As long as where your lines meet up, they match. My antebellum's a little thick. I, oh, that's why. 
it's almost it's almost completely out. I'm like, this is thick. Oh, <laughs> well, that's why. Um, so who here is affected by the tornadoes? And is can you guys help me out? Is that is that not normal for Alabama? Is Alabama not a tornado state? I, I really don't know. I'm sorry, guys. It sounded like it was kind of a surprise, like that's not something they normally deal with. So I hope you guys are all safe and okay. Um, I hope you're watching from your storm shelter, if you're watching. Okay, same thing. I'm just working one section at a time. My antebellum's a little thick, so I'm adding a little bit of water. I'm going to brush my midnight sky right up into it. Ah, Susan says it is a tornado state. It is a tornado state. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was just my perception listening to it on the radio. It sounded like it was a complete shock that they don't normally get tornadoes. And so that was not expected at all, but that was just, I don't know. Bad, because Californians bad are rookies yeah. at anything unless it's an earthquake. Oh, uh, fires. We love us a good fire. All right. Um, chairs, you also want to make sure that you get up underneath. Uh, it's in Tornado Alley. Oh. <laughs> Well then. Maybe this angle. I think we need to visit a map. <laughs> Do they label that stuff? What kind of weather conditions you get? Here, here, and In here. In what state? And they should. They, there should be maps like that that tells you, okay, you might want to move to Tennessee to get away from the fires, but you're going to get, you know, something. tsunamis. Yeah. Or, you know, like, <laughs> what? Okay, what? In Tennessee? I, what am I getting? What? In what state? What do I need to get insurance for? Sorry, I thought you said Tennessee, and if that was the case, that's that's an interesting tsunami to happen. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, think it was I don't judge, yeah. but when I do, I know my weather terms. Okay. Um. So I flipped my chair upside down, and I'm getting up underneath, and I will paint all sides of this chair because chairs are one of those things that I don't. I'm not going to leave an underside. I don't normally paint the backs of my pieces. I'm obviously going to paint the back of a chair. I'm going to paint the underside of this chair. Um, you're, it's not uncommon that you would see the underside of a chair. Okay, and I'm, I'm just working my way around. This is antebellum blue. Antebellum... Hey, did you see the bottom of a chair? You're like in a wrestling ring or something. <laughs> yeah. It's coming at you. I mean, you, you never know. We have kids, okay? Uh, it's crazy. Everywhere is a wrestling ring. <laughs> yeah, chairs, are tur <laughs> chairs are turned upside down in our house. Heathens. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember that um, the book Wacky Wednesday? Have you guys ever seen that where like chairs are on the wall? My kids love that book. Because it's real? Yeah, it's a true story. <laughs> autobiography <laughs> it's based on our house <laughs> all right anywhere i need a little bit of paint to work these together because as i go around my paint's going to start to dry and i'm just going to keep doing the same thing brush my on each side brush my midnight sky yeah, jill has a point that. pretty interesting it matches your shirt what does i'm so coordinated you guys well, i should probably stop painting and get into like fashion blogging i think well <laughs> about that yeah there's a big call for um you know, a good overall model, isn't there? <laughs> All right, that side looks good. More of a hand model. And then when I've got it turned on one side, I make sure that I work all four. So I've got top, 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 and I'm gonna get all four while it's turned on this side. Get up underneath here. And right now I'm just doing two of my three colors because my um, my mint julep is going to make a premiere as we get up to the top. I'm going to go ahead and get this. A little bit more water. I should have added a couple drops of water to my... Yeah, let's see if that helps. I should have added a couple drops of water. Here's what I go through. Because I leave my paint containers open when I'm blending, they tend to dry out. So I add just a few drops of water if I notice they start getting thick like that. So what I want to do is I want to um, bring my mint julep down a little bit so it's not only up on the top of my piece, it starts coming down onto the chair as well. And so I'm going to leave this center part right here open and I'm going to put a little bit of mint julep down here too. What brushes are you working with? So these are all the Dixie Belle Mini, and then the one that I'm coming in with to uh, work my colors together is my Dixie Belle Oval Medium. So this is my Mini. This is my Mini from my Midnight Sky. I put my uh, 
antebellum blue on and then I just brush them up together oh, and then I'm going to the smooth that out. I didn't add any paint to my midnight sky. Although I'm going to because I got a little spot right here that it touched something. I think it's because I'm flipping it around. This would be way easier if I wasn't trying to get this onto camera. But I'm going to flip it again. Kind of keep it at a little bit of an angle. Very little paint I'm adding on here. I just get a little bit enough to get coverage and then when I'm working the colors together um, it doesn't take a lot of paint. I'm going to get up under this side with my antebellum blue. Come back with my brush for my midnight sky and brush it right into there. I need a little bit of water. Got a little bit dry. So I'm just feathering them into each other. Sheila wants to know if you're doing a set. Yeah, it's uh, just the one. This is just one chair. It's going to go with a vanity, Sheila. It's a little, the little vanity I did with the cacti and succulents transfer. That's what this chair is going to go with. So I'm making it, I'm using the same colors I used on that vanity. And this is going to be the chair. So I didn't originally do a chair with it. And the um, person that bought it wanted a chair. So I found this little vintage chair. Vintage chairs are great for vanities because um, they're a little bit more petite. Modern chairs tend to be a little bit larger. And so I purposely looked for one that had a little bit of age to it so it would fit nicely right under a vanity, a little skinny, um, little skinny vanity table. And then this one's going to need, okay, so this one's going to need a little bit of cushioning. The seat is a little, sorry guys, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get, you're going to do it on the front. I'm just going to come in behind you and. Yeah, I think you're going to have to go mobile. I think you need to what? build this thing. Oh, we're going mobile, people. Let's do this. I think you're going to have to get like get low. Get on in there? Yeah. Get low. Okay. Let's see you do some squats. Oh, one. Because <laughs> I'm not going to make it out of it. <laughs> I want to see you do some squat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, so let me see. I think I've worked my way all the way around. Oh, that one in, on the inside over here. This one, I didn't um, oh. work my foot. Oh, and right here. Oh, you can't even show your face. I know. This well, it's really like it's each one is four sides, so that's 16 times I'm going to do the same thing. Well, then you should have it down. <laughs> yeah, you think I'd have a system here by now, huh? I don't, you guys, and it's been a bad day. Today was one of those painting days where you work all day and you end up right back where you started. Who's had those days? That was Brandy's day today. Not I. But the good news is I got it on camera for <laughs> everyone. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you guys are going to get to share so in my excited. misery pretty soon. Doesn't take much these I days. I know. In case your own misery isn't enough, you get to watch mine too. Yes. As long as it's someone else's train wreck, I'm cool with it. It was a train wreck today. I tried. I tried something. It didn't work out. I learned a lot. <laughs> Not going back there again. <laughs> yep. Little bit of midnight sky, just brushing right over the top of them. When you're blending, I, I, I don't try to keep my colors separate. I'm going right up into my midnight sky. Terry, I'm one of those days too. Did you really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can commiserate though. <laughs> we can, This is a safe place. We can talk about it. So I'm going to get under my seat too. Nobody will probably ever see it, but I just don't like it. I just don't like it. That's all. Well then. So I'm going to get this spot, even though it's going to be covered by my chair seat, but you know, maybe someday my customer wants to change out the fabric and she's going to take it off and be like, man, I knew Brandy cut a corner somewhere. That's paranoid, huh? Now again, to recap, what colors are you using? So far on my chair, I've got antebellum blue and midnight sky. Now we're going to get a little bit lighter. Antebellum blue is what you got going on now. Yes, this is antebellum blue and I'm going to work in mint julep. So my three colors are midnight sky, antebellum blue, and mint julep. Midnight sky and antebellum blue are perfect complements for each other. So if you want to work in antebellum and you want something to shade with, Midnight Sky is a great choice, although I use Midnight Sky to shade with a whole bunch of colors. It's a really nice universal shading color. 
All right, you're killing me because you're showing off all the good points of your workspace. <laughs> Are there any bad points, really? Really? Except for my rag pile. Oh, and the, those boxes over there. Yeah. It's because we just did my flooring, you guys, and I had to move stuff all around, so. It is what it is. It's a workspace, right? I try to keep it clean out here. It actually really bothers me. So I'm, I'm coming in from the edges and in, at the center of my chair is kind of going to be a little bit of mint julep. So I, I like that because it's going to work it in from the sides. The, the antebellum blue is going to work in from the sides and I'll have this really pretty blend going up the center of my chair. It'll kind of be a feature, I think. So Shelly's got a very important question. Yeah. All questions are very Is that important. a patterned rug that you're working on? Where that I'm sitting on? Yeah. <laughs> or is that a drop cloth? <laughs> well, <laughs> what was it intended to be or what is it now? Um, it was a rug and it got it got old and it was going to go in the trash. And it gets really cold in the winter and it's nice to not sit on a hard floor. And so I was like, I'm going to have a nice rug for a drop cloth until it gets to where I can't use it. And then it's just going to get discarded like it would have anyway. So I'm being resourceful. I made an old rug from our house into a drop cloth. So it's supposed to be a rug. It is a drop cloth, though. I liked it better as a rug. No, you didn't. We got a new <laughs> That's rug. That's true. Much better. Get it out. <laughs> yes, it was awful. <laughs> now you're just lying to the people. Yes. All right, so I'm going to get my antebellum to kind of where I think it's going to go. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go all the way up these sides right here or not. Let's start working in some mint julep. And this is going to take me two coats. My second coat is going to be an exact repeat of what I'm doing right here. So where do I want my mint julep? I want it to go kind of like here. Um, oh, kind of puts an old carpet or an old rug over a cart when they have hailstorms. I like that. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, man. Uh, we don't get that size hail here. I'm in California. But, um, man, I see these videos of the size hail that comes down sometimes. That's a really good idea. And, you know, the insurance claims you have to file from hail hitting your car. It's nuts. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically make like a stripe. Kind of where I want my mint julep is right about there. And now I'm going to come back and I'm even going to blend out this part that's going to be covered in my seat. And I'm going to cover right over it. I'm going to brush them right into each other. Same thing with the front here. So putting a stripe on it, does it make it faster? Um, a racing stripe? Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, hold on. What? As opposed to what? Not putting any paint on it? Yes. Okay, it softens up the antebellum. I'm not trying to keep it pure antebellum in the spot. I want it to turn into this kind of greenish blue color. It's, it's actually a really pretty color. And this is the color that shows up on my vanity because I work these colors together on there too. So um, I'm gonna kind of feather these into each other right here on the edge. This part is up under my seat so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'd like it to kind of look like I tried. Okay, now where it's a little muddy right here in the center, I'm just going to come back with my brush for my mint julep, and I'm going to pure that back up again. I'm going to bring it back to its true color just right there in the center, and then I'll bring back on the very outer edges, bring back my antebellum to its true color. Like right here where I touch the legs and stuff, I can just bring it right back with a fresh brush over of the pure color, and I've got a really pretty, super simple blend right there. Working in these tiny spots like this, um, it's actually pretty easy because you can just kind of work your way around. And if this doesn't exactly match this, you're not going to notice. This chair also has a little bit of fluting. I actually think it's way easier to blend over a uh, texture like this, like fluting or molding, because um, the molding hides any flaws that you might have in that. So right here on the front of my chair, you can see it goes from the midnight sky into the antebellum and then that goes into the green across the front. That's really pretty. Those are the colors that are on the vanity. The vanity has the dark legs. Um, and so when it's down at the ground, this chair is going to look like it matches. So let's come here and kind of work across the sky. So same thing. I'm going to cover it in my mint julep 
I want to make sure I get up underneath here. It goes pretty fast because you're just kind of turning the chair every which direction. At least they're pretty small. Sorry, guys. I'm going to get you in there for a better view. I'm going to make my stripes and then I'll... Okay, I'm just going to make the stripes kind of going all around all these sides. I won't turn it and do the front just yet because that... Sean's just getting comfortable back on his recliner again. My executive chair? <laughs> yeah, his executive chair. <laughs> Sean got a new uh, office chair. It's called an executive chair. So That's where all the big decisions go. Yeah, I asked if that actually made him an executive. Does he need to call his employer and tell him he got the chair now? Yeah, what was the last one? The oh, manager's? it was only a manager's yeah, chair. Yeah, one was labeled a manager's chair. Yeah. So we're sending that back because yeah. I feel like that's, I feel like that's underachieving. Yeah. Like, you want to shoot for the stars. And then I'm just going to kind of come in here and whisk these two together, like a little, kind of all different directions. Then I'm going to come up here and do it and whisk them together, all different directions. I'm laying my brush off because it starts to pick up both colors on it and I want to keep it kind of clean. This clean dry brush really does magical things. So that just, I just made the stripes and then I kind of worked them together right there. And then I'm gonna come in anywhere that I accidentally got the wrong paint color. I'm just gonna pure up that paint color with my um, original color. <laughs> Sheila's just gonna pick random stuff in the picture. Is that a paint cap over there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's that like, uh, you're correct. It's like a Where's Waldo game, huh? <laughs> no prizes. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing across the back here. And the brush you have in your hand. This is the um, this is the mini angle. So you guys will notice I I say the mini, but I use the mini and the mini angle pretty interchangeably. So I know the uh, brushes are not available right now on the website, you guys. They're coming in in small quantities because of COVID. Um, manufacturing is slowed down. <laughs> Um, just the way of the world right now, right? And um, and so I post on my page every time that they come in, and if whether it's the mini or the mini angle that comes in, I feel that they're really interchangeable. Some people might prefer one over the other. I I say mini, but I I mean either one. So if they come in and only the mini angle is available, grab it. It's the same brush. It just has a little chisel tip on it. See the little chisel on it? Oh, hold on. Chiseled like Sean's abs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Why would I laugh? Is it like a bowl full of jelly? There was nothing funny about that. So right across my back. I didn't do this side this last time, so I'm going to come in here and do this. Not super happy with this edge, so I'm going to fix it. What do you think? I'm on the fence about if I should carry some of the mint julep on this part too. Do I want to make this blend come down here? Because I feel like I, I feel like I don't have enough mint julep. So let's try it. It's just paint, right? That's what I had to keep telling myself today as I worked all day just to end up right back where I started on my project. It's just paint, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and try it. See, I laugh, the camera shakes. <laughs> I remember the day you had chiseled abs. That one I don't even that remember one, the day that, that I had day. chiseled abs. That one day. <laughs> when I drew them on there? <laughs> Think, or what is it? Oh, uh, dang that, it. That <laughs> Deer started. fencing? It's the yeah. redneck. Say, Where they lean up against the deer fence. They lean up against the fencing and well, that's, <laughs> the imprint. Girl, hold on. I mean, that's the fastest pair. <laughs> six pack. So I'm thinking I might go kind of down here a little bit. And that way the top of my chair has a little more mint julep on it. So I can kind of play with my color placement a little bit. Let me show you guys what I mean. I'm going to bring it down a little bit this way. Yeah, I think I like that better. 
So I had already put some antebellum on here, so I'll have to let it dry because now I'm just creating the, a mix of them and I don't want this to be a mix right here. So I'm just going to get a smooth coat on it, and then I'll let it dry and I can come back on my next coat and fix that. Would you try something like this on a middle chair? Um, if you want to paint a middle chair, you definitely can. You want to put a base of Dixieville Slick Stick on there. So metal is a non-porous surface. The paint doesn't have <gasps> anything to bite onto. What? Far about you. When's your birthday? Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Where did I get this information? Oh. I know. Nobody called you. Oh, that's how many friends I have. Sean wanted to be invited to your guys' dinner the other day, Far about you. Oh. Well, there was that too? Yeah. Thanks. I mean, why stop there? Just keep going. Aren't you guys Facebook friends? Oh my gosh. That's where you find out all the information. Ah, uh, stupid Facebook. Are, they, right. are you looking for the name tag? Yes. I think Bob might have taken it into his hobble. Oh, come on. Not sure on that. It, might, be, it might just be lost. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, in a, it's on one of my stools. But I had a stool failure. One of my stools broke. Uh, oh my gosh. Crisis. <laughs> What is stuff going on? Uh, one of my one of my stools, the, like the post came out off of it. What's wrong with your stool? It was uh so, and I went back to go get another one, and uh, they didn't have any. So, oh, Did you find it? Yeah, but I got it. Uh, got to bend over. Good thing that yoga paid off. <laughs> yoga really worked out. All right, so I got my colors. Now I'm gonna kind of feather them together using my. Clean, dry brush. That's pretty. You get the front of this here. Clean, dry brush. Clean, dry brush. Oh, what is it? I think I missed it the first five times. <laughs> That's right. I'm trying to, you're going to be saying it in your sleep tonight. I just spilled paint on the rug. Oh Hurry, gosh. get the shampooer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, honestly, you guys, I would say like this carpet sample or, you know, or using a carpet sample, you can get carpet samples pretty inexpensively during the winter. You have a cold workspace, nothing warm about a drop cloth. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to sit back in a minute and I'm going to look at, see how I like this color layout. Can't tell if I'm too heavy on the antebellum blue. I don't want it to be all too here's where because my vanity is pretty crazy. Here's where my critique comes in. No, it looks good. <laughs> and then you change it every time. Uh, okay, let me fix that. Uh, the bottom part is the easy part. This this top is a little harder because I'm trying to figure out how much green. Oh, Sheila. Oh, I Sheila. thought about offering that. Isn't that a song? Yes, it is. Ready for the world. Anyway. Um, <laughs> The second time, like what? Who does that? What? Name can name any song and um anyway. Cause that talent of mine has paid off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well Woo! You, you got the executive chair, so it must have <laughs> I had to buy it. It wasn't even given. <laughs> I gotta buy executive decisions. <laughs> Sheila wants you to sing happy birthday. Oh I have to, you want me to sing? Actually, uh, she asked me to, but I no. Can you guys ask Malia? Malia's the singer. Uh, you guys don't know what you're in for. Because it's all about. Well, let me get my microphone out. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Please say no. you're gonna what? sing along at home. I'm not please. gonna sing along. Somebody has to go get kids. Go ahead, you can sing. That's one part. That's somebody. <laughs> By the way. All right, you guys. We're all gonna sing Happy Birthday oh, to Fireball oh, June, on, who comes here with us every Thursday. Okay, so ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Fireball Jim. <laughs> Happy FBJ. birthday to you. <laughs> Brandy, bring it. Happy birthday, June. <laughs> Music we trivia against me. <laughs> yeah, we love you. Do not replay that segment ever, oh, ever. Man. Hold on. Okay, yeah. I just recorded that on the 8-track. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I, I think I like where my colors are. Uh, I need to let this dry. And um, but let, so now I've come up and worked the top. I can go back down to the bottom. And then when I come back up here in a few minutes, this will be nice and dry. 
That's the only good thing about having 5,000 sides of a chair. A little bit of water just because my paint's drying. Otherwise, if I don't need it, I don't automatically add it. And then let's get this little spot right here that's kind of hanging out on the seat. Donna sang and her husband was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's Fireball June? <laughs> We're all a little crazy here. That's all we've got, right? We gotta celebrate. I really don't like when you paint in secret. It's all hidden. Oh, because <laughs> can you not see it? Uh, here's where I am right here. I'm trying to do this section right here. Oh, yeah. Just kind of, this is going to match exactly what I've been doing across the front. All right, so I've got some paint on there, and then I'm just going to soften it up. Oh, Luan's trying to cash in. Her birthday was Monday. I don't think that song is getting repeated. We should get, we need to get like a list in advance. You know, if there's like 10 people, we need like a birthday well, It's list. like when you work in an office and the list yeah. gets passed around. <laughs> yeah, the generic birthday it's card. Such a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the one cake that everybody has to share. I don't think that happens anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the one COVID cake. <laughs> now everybody gets their own personal cake, as it should have been all along. I know, uh, we just celebrated, we just had a birth, our kids had birthdays. Like half of our family has birthdays in February and March and you can't do anything. We couldn't go out to a restaurant. We couldn't do anything. So, um, you know, we made a cake at home. Look, I have a section right up under here that I need to still get, but let's come back down here. I need to let, I need to let the top of this chair dry. Let's come back down. I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom again. So this is our second coat, which will be our final coat. Two coats of this, two coats of working your way around the chair. Get your paint on it and then come work out those little where the colors meet up with your um, dry neutral brush. Dry neutral brush. Yeah, see, now I'm just hungry for cake and ice cream. Can you hand me that red stool right there? I want to oh, lean this. I feel like you're not listening to me. If this touches my piece, I'm going to make you touch it up. Okay, here you go. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get ugly. It's a solid white. I'm sure I'll screw it up. Okay. There you go. Here, would you like me to assist you with this? I don't know that I gotta put another coat on there. Okay. Alright, that'll hold my chair in place and now I can just rework. So I think from here I'm just gonna leave it on the back. It's getting too hard to just keep spinning it, but that was a good way to show you guys you just keep spinning your chair. If you have a oh you know what? A lazy Susan. You really want a lazy Susan for chair. I don't people. even understand that one. Why do they call it a lazy Susan? I know, poor Susan. There's a lot of lazy Susans yeah. out there. Could be a lazy Karen. Yeah. <laughs> lazy. Lazy Brandy. Yeah, lazy Brandy. <laughs> I wish. I'm going to bet it was a guy and he just didn't want to get in trouble yeah. with his wife <laughs> his and wife. she wasn't named Susan. <laughs> his wife was Susan. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you have used three brushes, correct? Three brushes plus my dry neutral brush. So I'm at four right now. Okay, so I've got my paint on. It's pretty messy in there. I'm gonna come brush. I didn't add any paint to this, so my brush is pretty, pretty dry. I get to kind of feather them together with a pretty dry brush. And then I'm right there with Brandy. She's turning 47 in July. Birthdays start getting overrated. Okay, this brush right here, I've now used it to blend my mint julep. I've gone all around my chair. I'm coming back on my second coat. Normally I would let my paint dry in between and this brush would have been washed out already, but it's pretty muddy. I'm going to introduce the second one because otherwise I'm just going to brush a bunch of mint julep down here into my darker colors. Super pretty right there. I'm going to get down under here. Got my two colors on there and then I just use this dry brush to feather them together. All right. Yeah. Now I can reach to the other side. Chairs are fun too. Chairs are good to practice on. You know, I one of the very first pieces I did, if you guys have followed me for a while, I did rocking chairs for my kids' teachers in elementary school. 
and it was, you know, with the spindle backs on them, it was blending over a whole bunch of spindles. Those were some of the first pieces I painted and they came out really, really pretty. And so I actually think spindles can be kind of intimidating when you look at them, but they're actually pretty easy to blend over top of and rocking chairs with this look are super pretty. Teachers love those oh. gifts, you guys. You can pick up rocking chairs at the end of the school year. You can get a rocking chair usually in the under $20 range. And teachers love those as gifts. Dana has a point. Sorry to interrupt you. It's what I do. Comes with the ring. Since you've painted the underside like our, of this. Like our doorbell? Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. Comes with jokes. Uh, you're going to need to paint the, uh, the bottom of the legs since we can all see them now. Down here? Uh-huh. Well, don't look at that part. What? Yeah, I mean. Huh? Come on now, guys. Come here, break. I know I need to get up under here, too. There's going to be a whole bunch of little spots that I'm going to have to go do. I feel bad because I'm spinning this around like, I don't know, like a wrecking ball. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Things I wish I never heard come out of that mouth. So yes. One. yes, yes, I don't, I really don't like having little parts that you might see, especially on like a chair like this. Um, <laughs> so really, is it that I'm really stuck on stupid on that one. Like, you really caught me on that one. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and get this. This paint's a little dry. You can start seeing your paint is dry. Um, it doesn't have the sheen on it anymore. Now it's not fully dry. I just put this on in the last 10 minutes. I know that I can't work that too aggressively. I usually let my paint dry overnight so that I can blend on top of it without worrying about that. Um, so I'm gonna work this area really gently because it's really fresh paint, more of a dabbing than a rubbing. Not something I advise, just let your paint dry. <laughs> Sheila wants to know if Logan made bank for that tooth. <laughs> He's lost a whole mouthful. Kids got a college. It's like he has to come life. with a disclaimer when we show up anywhere. <laughs> he has good teeth. Well, He's he, just at the age where nobody, where nobody knows. He wears a mat. He wears a mask. Oh yeah. Anywhere. Nobody even knows the kid's missing his teeth now. So let's do this side again. Okay, this is the sec. So I did. That was my second round up the back. Now I'm going to do the second round up these legs here. All right, my, once you um, are putting on a second coat, I find I use more water on the second coat because the paint's a little, dries a little bit chalky and your brush wants to stick more um, over that chalky surface than it did over my raw wood. And so I just add a little bit of water to help my brush glide. All right, so that's my antebellum. I've got my Midnight Sky. They meet up right here. It's kind of pretty, but it's not smooth. So I'm just going to take my... Um, now I do keep cleaning off my clean dry brush, just ta uh, taking it off on my rag and I'm going to oh, go. Oh, Yvonne's got, got you cast into her TV. Oh. oh yeah. Well, I'm not really on it. It's just my chair, right? As long as it's just the chair. Hold on. Were you saying something? All right. And let's get over here. <laughs> Give myself a little bit of water just so my brush glides just barely any that was just one little mist just to make my brush glide up it that's really pretty look at midnight sky into antebellum blue those so, colors are amazing together as a technical question let's say this piece dries and you decide oh i should have <laughs> blended this a little different do you start over or do you hit the actual area? I would just come back and, st and start it as a touch up. Now, sometimes your touch up comes into just repainting the whole chair. That happens too. Um, but I would try to keep it contained as a touch up. And then if you, you end up, you can't, you know, then you end up spinning your whole chair around again. I, I end up doing both. There are times I'm just not happy with it and I will just come back and put another coat on it. I try to not, I don't think anybody ever wants to, but if you're not happy with it, I can't leave it. This is why my aprons all look like this. 
just a bib, just a giant bib. All right, so that's pretty. I'm gonna flip it back this way. Now, uh, sanding between coats. Um, I usually like to sand in between coats. I'm not, my paint is still really wet, you guys. It's not even barely dry. I would not normally be trying to do two coats in a matter of what I've been on 40 minutes. I'm kind of asking a lot for my paint just so I can show you guys the second coat. I do like to do a little light sanding in between my coats, but I also like to let my paint dry in between coats, so. And then once I'm done with down here, then my top will be dry enough that I could go back around and do my up top again too. Oh, Yvonne, you got a point. <laughs> You'd hate to try to figure out what was going on if you didn't have comments. So if it's casting, you don't see comments. Oh, Just oh, it trying doesn't. To figure out. Oh, I, would, I didn't even think about that. You're right. The com do the comments not show up when you're casting it onto your TV? I guess they don't, huh? That's kind of a bummer. All right, let's go right across the front here and I'll do this section. And this will probably be the last one. And then after this, I think I'm going to add a little, you know, maybe a little cacti just maybe up at the top here, just so it ties in with the vanity that this is going to belong to. Um, so you can tell that they're made to be a set. I'll just put a little one of the cacti transfers on here, just one or two. That's really pretty. So down here is a pretty good representation of all the three colors coming together. And then once you have this coated and ready to go, will you sand before you put your gator hide or your top? I do. On it, you guys, I, I've showed on camera a million times. When I say sand, I mean I just come, I don't, I can't do this chair because it's oh, thanks, so wet. I will literally come and do one, two, and that's it. One, two. Just enough to just smooth it out like butter. And then I go ahead and put my top coat over that. It's technically sanding because I'm using a piece of sandpaper. It's just knocking it down. Yeah, it's just knocking it down. It's not, I'm not, I'm not getting out my surf prep and. That's the awkward angle of under here. So that might not be great. I might have to look at that one. But I love this across here. Um, I need to do this back here. And I'll start seeing other little angles as I go around that I miss, like this guy right here. And when you come over and you're going to knock it down with a uh, sanding sponge, what grit is that? So these are 220 grit. These are the Dixie Bell sanding sponges. They're, they're super inexpensive. I just add a few of these to my cart. I wash them out so they last forever. I don't think I've ever thrown one of these away, uh, but it's good to have like two or three of them. And then as they get a little worn, you get some that are finer than 220. You know, they end up being a 400 grit because you've used them so much. And I love those. I don't, I don't get rid of those either. Um, so these are the Dixie Bell <laughs> sanding sponges, but they do start out as a 220 grit. And then be nice, Sheila. You use them forever. Is she being mean to me? But she's probably accurate. No, no, no. About me reading comments and whatnot. Just about you reading? Uh, you're just doing two things at once. I'm back here trying to sound it out. I'm syllable counting. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm not trying to sing. Uh, Crazy people do that. It sounds like my, uh, my son's a middle schooler. Oh, man, I just touched down here with my brush. <sighs> And we had to write a poem, one of those ones where you have to count syllables. Me and my son are at the table the other go day going, I don't know, <laughs> my cat ran to the zoo. How many syllables is that? Was that a haiku you, we had to write? Yeah. Well, no, I asked <laughs> yeah, him. We're, said, we're just sitting at the table. I'm going like, to gotta write a Japanese poem. I say a haiku. No, Dad. <laughs> no, oh, Dad. Okay. It, wasn't, it was something else. It wasn't a haiku. It was some, another one. Tanaka. <laughs> but it was really just me and my son sitting at the table clapping together for an hour. Like a freaking party. <laughs> Yay, we did it. <laughs> going to Hawaii. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is going to be really pretty. That up top, I really need to work on and perfect it. But I, I got my legs to where I really like them. And this front section right here. So I'm about halfway done. Um, I got my two coats on the base. It's about 45 minutes. So not too bad. I would normally let it dry in between coats, but I love these colors together. They're gonna, it's gonna be beautiful. And then if I get, um, let me show you with the seat on it. 
Okay, you can go to Walmart and they have um, pre-cut chair uh, cushions, uh, foam. So I'm gonna put new foam on here and then I'll cover it in a cute fabric. And I'm thinking something with the greens and the blues in it. Um, it would also be pretty that white faux fur fabric. Those are cute, that's cute for vanities too. So this will get redone, but you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. And then if I put a little succulent up here in the corner for my transfer, and it sits right up against the vanity, it's gonna match perfectly. So that's where we're going. Cute, huh? All right, you guys, so don't be, uh, don't be intimidated by spindles. I actually think they're uh, more forgiving than you think. And that clean dry brush, you just get your colors on, create stripes, and then feather them together. If you're doing round spindles, the concept is the same. You just go around and feather the colors together all the way around the circumference of it. Um, I'm gonna pop off, you guys, the colors we used tonight. We used mint julep, we used antebellum blue, and midnight sky is my three colors. And those are available at the link that I put above in the post. The transfers are coming April 7th also to the website. Right now they're available through your elite retailers that you can find um, using the website as well. You put your zip code in and I'll tell you where you can find one. And um, that cacti and succulent transfer is available too. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Happy birthday to Fireball June, and we had another birthday too. I'll have to look back. I do watch these back. Um, but you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe from tornadoes, and I'll talk to you guys next week.